it's really <laughs> I'm laughing because my cat's in the background but that's fine enjoy <laughs> um it's really funny because my next idea for this vlog was supposed to be productive days in my life but honestly I feel like this is one of the most chillest weeks I've had chill to a degree I hung out with my friends this weekend honestly I feel like Throughout the entire week, I'm usually just home, um, working, chilling, working more outside of work, but that work is like fun work. It's like event planning and stuff, and I really, really enjoy doing that. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty chill this week, aside from like one time I went out this weekend, mostly because I'm broke right now, but <laughs> um, currently saving up because I'm going to be moving soon from this apartment to another apartment i'm looking to move to the edgewater neighborhood in chicago which will be really different not really different but kind of like from the neighborhood i'm in now i feel like the neighborhood i'm in now is a lot of people my age it's a very it's a logan square logan square avondale urban park um I feel like it's much more hipstery and Edgewater I feel like is a lot more like I feel like there's a lot more older people in that area but there's also college students too because there's a few colleges nearby but I honestly was thinking about for a long time moving to LA um the last few months I really had like <laughs> went on Facebook, posted my profile, you know, how you post like, hey, I'm from Chicago, I'm like looking to move to this city. I was looking for roommates like on the Facebook marketplace and I literally posted my name and like a little bio and pictures, really thinking that I was gonna spontaneously move to LA within the next like month or so. But I'm dumb. <laughs> I am so impulsive and I'm really really trying to be better about learning how to stick to things and staying in one place um, and I feel like I have the tendency to kind of run away from things but more so like I also wanted to move to LA because I lived in Chicago pretty much my whole life except for like a brief period where I was living in Ohio for college don't recommend <laughs> Honestly, no hate against Ohio. I just somebody who needs like constant stimulation. I like being around people. I definitely am a city girl at heart and need to be a part of the city. However, I will say like, I love Chicago. It's, I think it's one of the greatest cities in America, but I feel like there's not enough nature here. And also not enough sun. When I tell you that the past two weeks it has been raining pretty much the entire time and cloudy, like, I don't want to say that um, weather entirely affects my mood because honestly I had a pretty good week, but I very much would love to have more outdoor space. And that's why I was considering t moving to LA because I kind of get the city aspect, but I also have like mountains only like a drive away. And I am a huge, I love hiking. I may not be like super good at it, but I just love being in nature. I feel like it's very therapeutic. I feel like it encourages me to go outside too, to kind of enjoy that space. And I feel like I don't have a lot of that here. But unfortunately, I'm not moving to LA. Not yet. Honestly, within a year, I will say that I'm probably going to save up so that I can move by next year to be in LA. But I thought it would be better, instead of being really impulsive, to kind of plan it out, save more, and yeah, hopefully make that move next year. But instead of moving to LA, I decided I'm gonna move to another neighborhood because I've been in this neighborhood for about two years. And I love it, honestly. I live in Irving Park right now and it's like one of the best neighborhoods I've lived in, pretty much. 
I would say. It's very calm, but if you take a bus ride maybe like 10 minutes away and go to Logan Square, I feel like there's really a lot to do. But personally, because I'm looking for that kind of nature aspect, I'm going to move to Edgewater, so I'll be right by the beaches, I'll be right by um, the lakefront trails, not trails, just like, I'll be close to the lake so I can like bike ride and shit, or whatever, but I didn't mean to swear. <laughs> yeah. It has been kind of a chill week. I feel like I did a lot of self-reflecting, which I always try to kind of find time to sit down. I recently just started writing in my journal again and it was so insane to kind of go back and like read. I had that journal from 2018 until now. So it's so crazy to look back and just like see how far I've come, but like see kind of the obstacles that I went through. Um, yeah, we've come a long way. It's kind of insane, but I'm really proud, really excited about where things are going right now. Um, a little sad that I can't move to LA, but still really happy about everything I'm doing in the community, the event planning that I'm trying to take to the next level. Um, but yeah, this is my vlog. I hope you enjoy. It's been pretty chill, it's been raining, and I think that kind of has to do with me being inside all the time, but let's get it going. So once again, I failed to take a video of me talking while I was out, but me and my friend Jen, who both work from home, actually met up at a coffee shop and worked together. It was a super cute coffee shop, I think in Lincoln Square. I wish I could remember the name of it. But yeah, that's my friend Jen. Love her. So the next day, I didn't really do anything during the day, but later at night, two of my friends came over and we just basically practiced DJing. And it honestly was such a fun night. It kind of re-inspired me back into wanting to DJ. next day was pretty uneventful, but I did take some time to write in my journal. It had been a pretty long time since I've written in my journal, but I decided to bring it out. And I think it's super important to self-reflect sometimes and just write out your thoughts and feelings. I'm someone who definitely tends to keep everything in their head and not really talk about anything out loud. So writing in a journal for me is very therapeutic and I definitely highly encourage for anyone to take some time alone and write out your thoughts. Mm -hmm. 